Hey folks, uh, this is Yop, and um, as you can see, I have the camera set up with the uh, infrared, and um, believe it or not, this works. First of all, what I did was, and forgive the room, it's a little messy, but this is what it looks like when you work. Uh, I took the the board here that I got from uh, R and R, and I over just over the um, IRs, I put the uh, reflective tape, so you can see. Uh, if I hold it up in front of the camera, you can see it, you can see it move. Let me see if I can bring up the uh, see if I can bring up the right menu so you can see it. All right, so you can see this has just got the reflectors on. You can also notice that I've got the lights up in the room quite a bit, too. I don't have it exactly. There's a light actually right above me. Um, so if I hold this up like this, uh, you can see if I move around, it can see the four dots. Even at a pretty good angle, I've got that at a, at a decent angle there. And it can still see the, uh, see the dots. Um, so it is reflecting back to the camera, it looks like. And then on the... Uh, on the headset, and you can see it's not it's not plugged in. Down there's the end of the plug. Uh, what I did was I just I used the same one that he gave me just for testing, but I just wrapped it around kind of in a nerd fashion. Uh, so that way, when you're when you're tracking, let me show you. So when it's tracking, even if you look down, see I've got it facing all the way down, it still tracks. Uh, I haven't really, I, and I did a down and dirty calibration. I didn't do, uh, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time uh, doing the calibration because I just set up, this is a test system, and I didn't even have future pinball on it, so I had to do all that. But it, I think in the cab, it would work well. Uh, once you get everything set up properly, it does track really, really well. So uh, this may be an option. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks.